Jason here from CKMP. Today I'm going to show you how we toast leads out of the backcountry. I'm going to give you two different ways. One, you know, on the trail, how we kind of do it. And then if I actually have to get out of some sort of technical terrain, what I'm going to do uh, and, and how it's different from the other way. So Dennis is going to help me and we're going to show you what to do. So the first way that I'm going to show you guys to tow, it will be if I was going to tow out of some sort of technical terrain or something where I almost needed to side hill a little bit or something, I want the sled to be right behind me. And for this, for this method, I'm going to actually use a stick that I've uh, handily brought with me. And uh, we're actually going to stick this between the skis. So while I'm doing this, Dennis uh, can pull the belt off the clutch and I'll get this ready. So to tow out of the backcountry this way, it's kind of nice usually to have a couple lengths of rope. I've honestly used the like emergency start rope lots that comes in the sled and it works pretty good. But usually I'll start by just lashing one end of the uh, log to my ski loop because we don't want it sliding around. So once we've done that, we're gonna actually just get the sled right up to the back of the other one. And we'll get it nice and close. And then for this system too, I always, I only try and do it when I really have to, cause it can be a little bit harder on the sled. You'll sometimes scratch up the bumpers a little bit, but in a bind, it definitely, uh, it works the best cause the, the sled is towing in your track behind you instead of off to the side. And you don't need to have anybody on the sled. So you save that couple hundred pounds this one we're going to tie it to the running board support and then back through the bumper so once we get it attached through the bumper and on either side then we're just going to go down to the log and we're going to suck that log right tight up to the bumper so this method here like i said it's you know it can be a little bit closer proximity so you want to watch to not beat your sleds up too much like this but honestly if you have to tow up hills or through technical terrain it honestly works the best it loads the suspension on the sled the tow sled better and then like i said with nobody on the to the sled behind it uh, it seems to work the best for us so we showed you the tech way to tow sleds off the mountain and now we're going to show you the way that we would tow you know out of flat terrain or down the trail or something kind of easier if the snow is not very deep and it's sort of flat and mellow then this is kind of the best way that i've found to tow home and then the nice part about it too is that you're not filling the sled full of snow and ice and gravel if it's springtime or whatever so it's uh, nice and clean and easy to work on right away too if you've, if you've got an issue so all we're going to do here is actually just pull the ski loop up to the running board support at the back of the tunnel and lash that together and we can actually just use the emergency start rope for that and that'll work just just fine So when I'm use, uh, using the tow or the start rope to, to tie it up, I just put a bunch of wraps around it. Nothing too crazy, it's pretty simple, but just tight is better, you know, than, than having it loose, because the looser it is, the more it'll wear on the rope and be likely to break for you. So same with this system. Uh, honestly, it's just as easy to tow with nobody on the, on the tow sled this way. It'll trail right behind you, nice and easy, and uh, yeah, pretty breezy. So we made it down the mountain with a dead sled. Hopefully now you can too. Until next time, hopefully you're not towing too many sleds off the mountain.